This is my good friend Craig Kaluki of the formerly of Clean Freak. Sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you, but it's true. Yeah, please. Of the Simple Clean, the finest cleaning service in Sparta, New Jersey, and surrounding areas. Is that fair or no? <laughs> that is more than fair, sir. <laughs> All right, cool. So the reason I wanted Craig on for a minute today. Uh, or a couple minutes is he was so cool and went on his Facebook rant as is his custom um, saying how awesome I am which was super cool thanks Craig I appreciate it brother but I realized it's all about me he was like oh Mike's the best I'm like Mike all right and no you guys don't care about me but you do care about growing your cleaning company and how to be a big fat rock star uh, Craig is a big fat rock star in training he's still thin right now but we're fattening him up pretty good um, so I want to take a couple minutes and just talk um, Oh, I guess on my screen. Talk to Craig about what the journeys look like, what he's learned, what he's still learning, and um, maybe get some value to Cleaning Nation. So that said, Craig, if you're willing to share, tell us a little bit about where you started off. I mean, gosh, it's been what six months since we started hanging out. Six months, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. If you're if you're comfortable, give us a quick breakdown of what your life slash business looked like uh, when we first started working together. Uh, we first started working together. I was doing the cleanings myself. Um, no employees, you know, working 50 hours a week, just doing cleaning. So there was no time, uh, as you know, Mike, for no time for advertising, no networking events, no, it was just get up in the morning, go clean, come, and help, come back home, go to sleep, get up the next day, repeat. Bill Murray, Groundhog Day. And that was not where he was meeting, you know, fancy women and spending money this was just groundhog day as brutal as it possibly could be yeah so that's that's that was like the the rock bottom of where i was at um except for sundays you still got to watch the giants lose on sundays right yeah thanks mike yeah so yeah not and to make mondays worse the giants were blow games on sunday and i wake up like well i guess i gotta go clean today <laughs> <laughs> so at least i'm not a giant <laughs> at least i got a job right? you are right about that oh that was awful yeah, it's been a tough year, um, yeah. and Greg's kind of let me abuse him. All right, so what? Um, let's talk about where you're at now, and then we'll just spend five, ten minutes walking everybody through how you got from point A, not great, to point B. I, I think pretty damn good. Where are you at now? All right, so now uh, I've got four employees. Um, we've switched about 60% from where I was cleaning just residential to now commercial. Um and now I'm at the point where I'm not cleaning at all. And it's so I'm kind of going from not cleaning to just checking on customers, showing face, uh, making sure the cleaners are going well at the end. But about 20 hours a week um, on the phone, networking, doing, uh, you know, going to meetings, taking people out to lunch uh, on the phones, doing all the stuff I couldn't do before we met. Uh, and, and really, that's the only way that I, I thought was, I guess, the way to grow the business um, without having to physically clean. So that's where we're at now. We've got four employees. Um, I'm no longer doing the cleaning. So on my end, it's more of like, I feel like I'm an actual business owner, not just this, oh, Craig, the cleaning guy. Oh, he's here to clean my house. But no, now it's like, Dude, I'm a rock star. I own a bit like I own a business. I, uh, every day I wake up, I'm like, oh, what are you doing today? Oh, you own a business. So I've got my employees saying, hey, boss man, what time you want to be in? Oh, I'm the boss man. Okay, thanks. Not taking that, you know, to sounding cocky, but it's like that's pretty damn cool. It is. I get to watch it, and it's it's totally cool. Uh, so yeah. income wise, my, my fear anytime I take someone through that transition of self employed to business owner is that mm -hmm. it's a kick in the butt on the income. Making more money, less money, same money. Now that you're not doing any work, that's half the battle. Or I shouldn't say not doing work, not doing cleaning work, doing higher dollar building your business work. What kind of income up, down, si sideways? Where you at? I think income wise, to be honest, please. Uh, I think I'm pulling in less money. Okay, so, but that's you know I'm paying employees, we're spending money on marketing and advertising, and, and going to meetings. The upside to that, I would say, is that you're not doing the cleaning. You're, you're, you're building a foundation. So I, I've, I've established this foundation now. So while there's less money coming in, there's a vision that you're sacrificing less money down the road. I just feel like 
it's going to be like a Scrooge McDuck dive off a diving board into a pile of gold chips. So there's a sacrifice to be made. Um, that that's my you know that's that's kind of the way I feel. What do you? I mean you know. Yeah, no, I I would agree a thousand percent. So still making money, of course, just not as much money. Yeah. Um, what what do you think potential wise? Because I think when I got you, like you said, you're working 50 hours a week. So we had to make the transition to employees because you were capped out. Maybe you could have raised your price on your customers a little, but you really couldn't take new accounts. A, you didn't have time to go go chase them and sell them. B, you wouldn't have had time to do them. So I think scale-wise, you've got a lot more potential. The sky's kind of the limit, no? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I actually, I was thinking about the other day, you know, there's, there's mom and pop businesses that just... I guess kind of try to keep food on the table, which was me. Just you know, coming, going, working, cleaning forty hours a week, bringing home money, and just kind of just going through the motions. And now I'm like, okay, I own a business, so it's it's more or less you know, I don't know, like the the mom and pop pizza shop, and then there's like Papa John's. So that right. that, that like I want to get there, like that 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 franchise, that you know, over million dollar cleaning business instead of just. You know, 40 hours. Okay, we've got some money. Let's go on a little vacation. No, I like there's there's it's it's absolutely scalable where you can just the sky's the limit. You're right. That's right. So it's it's mom and pop or it's you want to be you know on stage playing drums for Guns N' Roses. Like that's you know that's my thought process now. I like being an old man like me. You went right to Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Not like a good yeah, absolutely. You know, I was like, oh, I'm Guns N' Roses. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So what about revenue? Top line revenue. Um, what percentage, 1x, 2x, 3x, how much kind of have you grown in the last six months? Uh, grown in the last six months, 2000, I mean, we've probably grown eight times uh, the revenue in the last six months. That's, a, that's legitimate. That is, and that, that's like, that's, and I, I, I'm watching it. I'm like, this is not possible. How, and why wasn't I doing this? Well, because I didn't have employees, so doing it yourself, you're going to reach the ceiling. That's it. So yeah, yeah. So eight times in, in six months. So in five years, I mean, I can't even comprehend what the hell's going to happen. I don't know. I'm like nervous. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get insane. Um, right. Yeah, and I, and I think our goal for this year is to get you. Yeah, we, we got some exciting stuff. So maybe we'll do a yeah. follow up. Sorry, laptops on my knee. So. <laughs> If it looks like I'm drunk. Maybe I am, but it's not that. <laughs> um, and I got I to stick it to, so I'm in Phoenix, where here you can see my backyard. If anyone's interested, I don't know how to show you. Like it's 80 degrees. I got shorts. Yeah, take my work short sleeve shirts on here. 80 degrees, and it's it's still bright out, and we're live and crazy yeah. <laughs> like in the middle of the dark and the snow. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can see my background, I'm in my car, and I gotta have the <laughs> steering wheel heater on um, to keep my hands warm. <laughs> Oh, I said, like, we gotta go quick or else Kari's gonna freeze and die. Well, I'm living <laughs> in my backyard, loving life. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, sorry, I just wanted to, in case people wonder, like, what is going on? Where's Mike when it's all bright and blown out in the back? And why is Craig with Vegas? Uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> so, Craig's actually a fine looking fellow in the light. In the dark, he looks a little frightening, but don't be scared, am, children. Yeah, that's, yeah, please don't. <laughs> he will he will not come and get you all right so all right, that's been the growth so started off working on your i'm just going to sum up and if i say something out of, out of turn or not correct yeah correct me go ahead started yeah. off, new employees working 50 hours a week making decent money right because if you're charging 40 bucks an hour and you're working 50 bucks a week for 50 hours a week it's not good money or it's yeah. not bad money so it's not a good lifestyle and you're a cat you, you couldn't know that was it you could continue at that level or not but that you couldn't you couldn't grow fast forward six months 8x growth um, cash flow is taking a dip, but your work has gone from 50 hours required to zero hours required, and your ability to work is 20 hours on kind of just manager employees, manager accounts, and then maybe 20 hours on growing the company and continuing the growth, and you're not doing any cleaning at all. And of course, you got the opportunity. I, I think you're gonna get both. Now we're gonna in the next six months, we're gonna, obviously your income should start doubling and tripling. Yeah, I uh, no nothing. Nothing that you said is off base. Um, the one thing I, I do want to, you know, I, if I could say something to the owners of cleaning services is the quality of life is just on on the other side of being, you know, not being self-employed, but being an actual business owner. The quality of life has gone up. I don't wake up. My back is not killing me anymore. I I wake up. I have coffee. I have time to read the paper. I. Yeah, well, maybe I run one of the small businessmen here because I'm like, you know, that's, that's like me now. So the quality of life is just, it, it, it's totally 
opposite of where you're at if you're just cleaning by yourself and you're thinking about, well, uh, I could grow, but then, you know, I gotta sacrifice some cash. And it's just, just think about yourself and your family. And, and, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I really think that if you just sacrificed a little bit and you, and you, you know, got some employees and you just didn't, and you weren't working physically doing the cleaning, it's just, it's a complete 180. All right, so let's talk about how to do that. Because if I'm, cleaning nation listening i'm like well great jerk like that sounds fantastic i want to do that so give away all the crap that i charge you so much money tell cleaning nation give them a break on how what was the big one or two shifts you made or what was the the trick of i mean because these i get it hire employees and start working on your business instead of in it but obviously we've been through a lot between now and then what were some kind of key nuggets that you can give uh people listening so they can you know they can they can have the same results you do uh I guess first off would be, well, the first off would be to, to trust that employees. I, I, I think that's, that's the biggest thing right there because without employees, you're still working. So um, trusting that you've got to have some sort of um, foundation for hiring people and just getting at least one person that at least helped you along. You're not going to get out of, out of the cleaning right away. You're still going to be doing cleaning, but just get one person to help you. Um, and, then, and then I think that will push you towards it's just like that little bit it's like a drug you're like okay well now i was working 40 hours a week i got i have one employee that i kind of trust so now maybe i cut that three quarters i'm only working 30 hours a week and that just kind of snowballs from there so i really think the employees is the first step that you kind of taught me and said hey you've got to go out you got to hire someone you have to just not be cleaning and it, it for me it was just taking that it's just a leap it's just a, a jump um, yeah, it's scary. If that makes sense. It is. And it, it, it's nothing that you want to do. I'm like, I don't want to do that. I, I can't trust anyone. This is my business. It's my baby. But you have to if you want to grow. Um, so there's no, like, really trick to it. You just have to understand you've got to hire someone to help you. And if not, you're not going to grow. Does that make sense? That's that so common. So just if there's people out there listening, they're like, well, that's not me. I've had, you know, the same 15 employees for the last 5, 10 years. And I'm trying to grow. So this isn't really helpful. It's totally helpful because the key is, I mean, sure, employees are a big thing, but the key is more, there's, usually the next step is scary. The reason Craig didn't hire employees wasn't because I gave him some magic employee hiring wand. It was a lot of confidence and understanding, looking at his business in a way that was going to allow him to get where he wanted to go. So whatever step you're you're needing to take, you kind of got to lean into the fear and know that it, you're going to have to do uncomfortable things at every level. Um, so that's what I say to the people that are already have employees and think this doesn't matter. Give me one more, Craig. So getting employees, I get that. What's another key concept or trick or just anything I've, I've we've shared together that you that, that can help and give benefit to cleaning nation out there? Uh, focus. Focus was the next thing. Uh, not having webs all over the place. Finding a, a, a niche in the cleaning industry. Since there's 10,000 cleaning companies out there, and each one of them does the same thing. We clean offices. We clean rest. We clean it all. You have to narrow down exactly what you want to do and you can target them uh, a thousand percent because every other cleaning service out there is cleaning everything else under God's greener. So find a niche that you're comfortable with and just go right after them. That's it. Narrow everything down that you that you feel comfortable with instead of trying to market to, you know, a hundred thousand people in your area. That that to me was and I didn't feel comfortable doing it. like why why would we not market to everyone? But it, it's expensive, it costs money. Um I'm so, focus. Yeah, focus. So focus on just one thing instead of the ten thousand other, you know, different uh, things that are out there. That was that was one of the things that I, that you you kind of told me that I didn't believe at first. I'm like, ah, why don't I just go after everything? But now I'm like, we got to go after just one thing. That that's it. That has to be it. All right, that's awesome, brother. Well, that is um, that's kind of what I was hoping to get, and I really appreciate you sharing and, and uh, kind of giving back to the community. What uh, any other closing words? Anything that free form because i've kind of been saying here answer this answer that anything you just want to tell the universe before we cut it off here brother no i hope i i mean i don't know i get i get nervous with these things i hope i help uh, and, and i'm not you know i'm not a businessman i, I don't know much um about you know the, the corporate business per se i'm just a regular guy that, that hired mike that hired you mike and um it's just it's a learning process and i think one of the major things is is doing things that you're totally uncomfortable with that you say to yourself, this isn't going to work, it's not going to work, there's no way. But but listening to someone that's been through everything 
um, is the key to listening to people that are that are smarter than you. That if you hang around people that have been through everything else. I don't, don't hang around people that are dumb. Not going to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you will go somewhere, whatever I play. So, you know, I always well, say, yeah. hang around people that are living the life that you want. So not just yeah. so. And again, you have multiple mentors, right? If you want to, uh, if you want to be fit and have a, a body that serves you for your whole life. And you know, skinny fit people that are living the life that you want. If you want a business thing, you know, maybe the skinny guy's broke and you would listen to him about how to how to run a business. But maybe the guy that runs a business is good at this, but not your spiritual needs. So I totally agree with not just people smarter than you, but people that are getting the results that you want and living the, the life that you want in a certain area. And of course, just make sure you listen to them for that area only, right? You listen to me on how to... Um, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff I don't know about. Ask my wife. <laughs> All right, uh, cool. Anything else? Or should, I, should I cut us off, brother? No, I think you can cut us off. <laughs> Frank Paluki, thesimpleclean.com, Sparta, New Jersey. Check him out. Dude's a rock star.